Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool no mythic team you can use for this in the end world event. First things first, pop to the shop and grab yourself a tier one. This is going to give you a potion of enchantment, amongst other things, which is really good for this, this event. All your troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle, and this is a week long event, so that's completely worth it. Grab that. You can grab other tiers if you so desire, depending upon how far you intend to go. Always grab your rewards first as well. This is going to give you lots of cool stuff, and some of that cool stuff is the token of crypts. What this token does is going to give you extra spell and skull damage. So we can take a look at that. Where is it? There you go. There you go. Starts off as a token of cry crypts. Why can't I say crypts? <laughs> it evolves to a badge of crypts, and then eventually to a medal of crypts, where eventually you'll do a whopping 160%. Skull and spell damage. <laughs> I've got the giggles for all troops in the current event. So yeah, um, do that and pop that badge on. You don't have to put it on straight away. It will actually remind you when you go to do the um, the team. So let's go back to that and do it that way just to make it easier to show you exactly what I mean. So in the end, we go to the fight screen. But let's go over the scoring system first. There are six battles you can encounter during this event, which are Revenant, Jackal, The Guardian, Apothesis, Ankum, Bone Dragon, and Wrath Aemon. The first five battles are randomly chosen, and they all have an equal chance of appearing on the map. But the battle against Wrath Aemon will only appear after the player, which is you, wins four of the other battles. However, this battle will not hang around. You have to fight him immediately, or he will vanish. Either way, after that, all battles reset, and you'll need to fight another four battles to spawn Wrath Aemon again. Now, you can find bones and dark gems during these encounters. Each bone is worth three points, each gem is worth ten points. I'll simplify the scoring system on the screen at the moment. And the battles will drop a variable number of bones and dark gems on average about 1.18 times the base amount. Uh, just a little bit of extra information, the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess are now available as possible drops from both Vault and Epic Vaults, and the Silken Queen is also available from Glory, Gem and the Guild Chests, if you have the correct level for her rarity, and VIP Chests. Alright then, let's take a look at the team, a nice no mythic team here with really nice synergy. Arboreal Crystal, two times Vanoxia and Leprechaun. Leprechaun starts battles with full mana. Explodes, green gems, charging up the team. And even if you're a newer player whose magic isn't that great, you gain some gold. So the second cast and the cast after that are just going to get better and better every single time. So really nice leprechaun there. Going to have um, Arboreal Crystal in Archer class here. Really nice way this works with the team. Explodes and magic plus one green gems. Gives a random status effect, which we're not that worried about, but we do have a summon in case we lose one of our troops further below. But tangling in the upgrades is really nice. That entangles the top troop, keeping us safe from skull damage, but it also has leaf, which is leaf storm, and that is green. So that means we're going to charge up the team with this. We're going to have a lot of green. Really works well. Um, if you don't have that, you can just look for another explodey weapon, which you've got to charge up your team. It's still going to work really, really well. Archer class for this, really nice. A 15% chance for skull damage to be lethal. Can make really short work of those opponents on the later levels when that comes into play. Start battles with 50% mana, really nice. Hunters mark a random enemy on four of a kind. They take double damage from skulls. Perfect aim, doesn't matter. Root trap, really good. Entangle the top troop, keep your safe from skull damage. We start with a leaf storm anyway, and when we cast this weapon, we get another one. Wall of Vines, all green allies gain 5 armour, 30% chance to dodge skull damage, and the bottom one was <clears throat> no good. Vanoxia is going to create 9 green and 9 blue gems, and then deal a decent amount of magic-based true damage to all enemies. And also poisons a random enemy on 4 or 5 gem matches, but more importantly, gains 1 magic when an ally casts a spell. Two of them are going to charge up nice and quick with these weapons and leprechaun, and we'll just literally take it from there. Banner for this, plus two purple, plus one blue, minus one yellow knight banner from the City of Thieves. We get plenty of green from our other stuff, like our leaf storms and things like that. But the purple is good to charge up the weapon quickly, and the blue is as well. So let's dive in and give it a go. Right. There's a reminder, so you always choose OK for that. 
then you just pick one of your slots, we'll have it in the first one, and then you find that, that uh, badge, there it is, the badge of Crips, that will evolve later on into a medal eventually, hopefully, and you'll do even more damage. So, uh, yep. Let's go for that. One Arnu to give our Vinoxies a quicker start. And this shouldn't be too, um, take too long at all. Right, so all the green there. Look, we've got this Leaf Storm going on. Let's explode those. Charge up the team. Vinoxie is ready. You don't need to charge a second one. It's ready next round anyway, but dish out all that true damage, knocking out those opponents really, really quickly. Right, I'm going to jump forward a little bit now onto the higher levels. And here, Wrath Aemon has appeared. So it's really important you fight him straight away to get the most points from this. Because he'll only appear after you win four of the other battles. But if you don't fight him straight away, he's going to disappear. So absolutely make sure you fight him straight away. Let's do this battle. Cars left for gone. There we go. Right, here we go. This gem, when matched, will inflict death mark on a random enemy. A troop inflicted with death mark, as we know, has a 10% chance to die each turn. So another heroic gem in the game, death mark gems. So let's just do a few more battles. Wrath Aemon's appeared again. Always fight him when he's there. And it's just a case of rinse and repeat. And, and remember that this team is only going to get more powerful as this event goes on, because that medal will evolve, or the badge will evolve eventually into a medal and we'll get that whopping amount of um, spell damage. Oh, we've been death marked by that gem. That's annoying. Let's make sure we get this charged up then as quickly as possible and wipe them suckers out. Oh, it's good to have the Arbora Crystal or something with a summon in this for this death mark reason. Really important. You don't want that death mark coming in randomly on one of your most important troops and uh, making life difficult for yourself. So the summon is really, really cool on the Arboreal Crystal, whatever, or whatever weapon you choose to have. Just make sure it's one of the explodey, summony ones. Here we go. Loads of damage. <laughs> Phenoxy is self-charged, really nice. The green Storm, really helping this out. Loads of green, very high chance that you're gonna recharge your Phenoxies again. And I'll just do a couple more battles in called a video a day. Yes, video, you are indeed day, and you know it. Right, so we can't drop that down to there to make a four match on the green, so we'll explode instead. Both Anoxies are ready, and cast them both back to back. Depending on your magic level, of course, you may have to cast your Arboreal Crystal to charge up your Anoxia again, if you don't kick out quite as much power as I am. Yeah, and just keep on going throughout the week. Just use your free sigils every day, four new battles every single day. And you can get new battles as well, like the Battle Raven there at the bottom has just appeared. Really important you kill that thing before it has a chance to cast and a 30% chance to run away. Doesn't flap away, doesn't use its wings, oh no. It uses its little legs and runs off. So you don't want it doing that. If that failed to get your Vinoxia charged, you can cast your weapon instead. There we go. And let's uh, get rid of them. But there it is, um, a very straightforward team to use. If you enjoyed the video, found it useful, helpful, any of that kind of stuff, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.